Ellis Bird Farm is located 8 kilometers east of Lacombe on Prentice Road. And on Sunday, June 1st, 2013, the farm hosted the family-oriented BioBlitz as part of the Springtime Country Drive weekend. So it's a two-day event that highlights uh, agricultural producers and products in the Red Deer area. So we have participated in that. And today, specifically, we're doing what we call a BioBlitz. And the idea is for visitors to come out here and have a look around at the trees and the animals that we have and identify some of the the plants and animals that we share our backyard with. Also happening today, as part of its scientific mandate, Ellis Bird Farm is tagging a tree swallow to learn more about its nesting habits, migration patterns and familial organization. So here we have a little female swallow and I can tell that she's a female swallow because if I blow on her breast, her feathers separate and I can see that she has a brood patch. You can't tell the male and female apart by plumage, but you can tell by checking out for her little brood patch. So what we're going to do is put on a silver band, and the silver band is a U.S. Fish and Wildlife band that's used universally by bird banders all across North America so that we can identify that bird whenever it's caught again while it's alive or dead. We can always track the bird. Also attached to the tree swallow is a radio frequency identification chip. This chip helps Ellis Bird Farm determine whether the male or female bird spends more time building the nest and which spends more time incubating and feeding. Ellis Bird Farm has pioneered this type of RFID technology for tree swallows and purple martins. And another exciting event at the Ellis Bird Farm is the return of a purple martin, Emilia, from her winter migration. So this information is new to science. Emilia, geolocator number 125, traveled 22,300 kilometers. She took 75 days from the Ellis Bird Farm to her roosting area down in eastern Brazil. She came back in 21 days. She averaged 600 kilometers a day on her return journey back to the Alice Bird Farm. It's right back here to this site. So up until this point, scientists had no idea where these northern nesting purple martins spent the winter, nor did they know their exact migration route. And now because of the research we're doing here and of, because of our birds, we now have that information. Along with its scientific mandate, Ellis Bird Farm also educates and preserves for future generations. And today, kids who complete BioBlitz get to build a free birdhouse and slurp on a free ice cream cone from the tea house. I think they can bring children here, uh, teach them to build bird boxes and teach them about the uh, local habitat and what it takes and how important it is to maintain clean water and maintain uh, these kinds of environments. And so on June 16th, Ellis Bird Farm is planning the Westwoods Trail Father's Day hike. More information about this hike, about the birds, and about one of the best kept secrets in central Alberta can be found at their very well maintained website, ellisbirdfarm.ca. And while you're there, you might say hi to their nesting birds and their beavers via the live webcam. At the Ellis Bird Farm, for the Central Alberta Community Event Series, I'm Ruben Cheddar.